recording. Darius, introduce the show. Hello, I'm Darius Davies. I'm a Persian Caucasian male. I'm wearing a green shirt. I have shoulder length black hair and I go by the pronouns whiny bitch. <laughs> I'm co host of the Free Speech podcast along with. Hi, I'm Nico. I'm a black Caribbean person of black descent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a white t shirt from Sainsbury's. <laughs> which is my new go-to shop. And I am a podcaster and comedian and actor. <laughs> and I host the Three Speech Podcast with my friend from Scotland. Hello, my name's Leo Kers. I'm a Caucasian woman. I'm six foot <laughs> six. I've had a hair transplant and I'm wearing a, a Ben Sherman shirt. What are your pronouns? And my pronouns are she and they. <laughs> and I'm on my left, I have a guest who is uh, hi, I'm Francis Foster. I am a white uh, uh, English-Irish person of non-colour. I, uh, I am wearing a red t-shirt that my girlfriend bought me. I am also, I go by the pronouns um, he, him, and, uh, and uh, I have a, a, a podcast called Trigonometry, and I'm disgusted by the lack of diversity. Where's the fucking women? <laughs> Leo's a redhead! Right right no! I'm a woman. You've made no effort to I'm fucking a... pass. Whoa, you oh. heteronormative, heteronormative <laughs> patriarchal <laughs> gender <laughs> norms much. Yeah, we won't have that at, at, here at Three Speech. Yeah. Leo I'm is a, a beautiful woman. I'm a real woman. <laughs> real woman. Yes, the nits to him in the urinal. Lorraine, <laughs> Lorraine Kelly says I'm a real woman. <laughs> Did she? Yeah, she said, she said, she uh, called you a bitch. <laughs> trans men are men and trans women are women. So I'm tra I'm a trans woman because I said I'm a woman. So Glenn Kelly thinks I'm a woman. Good. Um, yes. Well, can I just say that uh, you do you, do you, what, what what toilet do you use now? I use uh, whichever toilet I want because uh, it's 2021, Francis. You <laughs> bigot. <laughs> yeah, are you going to apologise and do better or what? No, mate, I've already... T as far as it goes on the internet, Darius, I've made my bed. Do you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Let's be fair. Well... I think you owe Leona an apology. Leona. <laughs> Don't give me some sort of uh, heteronormative name. It's, it's Leo. It's still a it's still a traditionally masculine name, but I am a woman. You are a woman. I'm a real woman. You are a woman. So you, in case anybody's wondering why we're introducing ourselves using um, that the the weird clunky description of what we look like and how long our hair is at the Microsoft conference this week, all these overpaid fucking nerds took a break from watching Star Trek or whatever and introduced themselves. Here's the clip. Hello, everyone. I'm Natalie Godilla. I'm a Caucasian woman with long blonde hair, and I go by she, her. <laughs> marketing lead here at Microsoft and co-host of the podcast Security Unlocked with this guy. Yes, that would be me. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Fillingham. I'm a Caucasian man with glasses and a beard. I go by he, him, and I'm a security evangelist here at Microsoft. No, we are so excited to be with... Taxi driver. Not as he, not as he didn't describe his hair, because it's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a middle-aged man <laughs> with a mohawk. Yeah. I want... Oh, wait, right, 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 question. Really in history. history. Yeah. But, uh, fucking Mooch never... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry, so, sorry, sorry. Hello, my name is uh, Mooch. I'm six foot four. Uh, I'm a this white This isn't your Arab. Tinder profile, Mitch. <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> I'm six foot three. <laughs> uh, and a white Arab, he, he. Uh, why, he, him. Why is it flickering on you, Mooch? Because uh, it's a dodgy wire. Also, play the bit where she's talking about the lands that was stolen. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't know yeah. That's that's yeah. I don't know if, uh, if uh, it's in this clip. Maybe it is. I should have dug that out. It's not in that clip. No, it's not. That one's too short. I know yeah. the one you mean. Yeah, uh, I can dig it out, and then we can edit this like little bit out, and then we can just skip. Yeah, dig it out because that is. I'm going to ask crazy. a very problematic question. Why can why can we save, right? save it for when we record? Oh, okay, are right. we not recording? We're, we're recording. Yeah, no, I, we, yeah, but we're going to. Leo edit. said we're going to edit all well, this gonna bit to seamlessly gonna... segue into to Segan. Oh yeah, okay. Play that one with the lady talking about the lands that were stolen. I've I've got it here actually. <laughs> that's wow. show business, that's, baby. Wow, that's what's was... funny about that? <laughs> the Snoqualmie, the Suquamish, the Muckleshoot, the Snohomish, the Tulane. No, you, you need the beginning bit. Dumb, Dumbledore, where she says. 
Yeah, we need the beginning bit. Yeah, yeah we need the beginning bit. Saying that's... racist names. Yeah. <laughs> the muckwalks. Did, did you have it, Leo? Oh, this one. This one has it. This one has all of it. Okay. So, um. Hello, everyone. I'm Natalia Godilla. I'm a Caucasian woman with long blonde hair, and I go by she, her. Hello, everyone. I'm Nick Fillingham. I'm a Caucasian man with glasses and a beard. I go by he, him. I'm an Asian and white female yeah. with dark brown hair wearing a red sleeveless top. I'm a tall Hispanic male wearing a blue shirt, khaki pants. First, we want to acknowledge that the land where the Microsoft campus is situated was traditionally occupied by the Sammamish, the Duwamish, the Snoqualmie, the Suquamish, <laughs> the Muckleshoot, the Snohomish, the Tulalip, and other Coast Salish peoples since time immemorial. It sounds like she's bragging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just shit. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this we used to be your shit, shit, but now <laughs> Microsoft Office. Yeah. It's our office. Yeah. Let's give it back. Like, yeah. Give it back. If you give it back, you give it back. Yeah. yeah, I'd be so pissed off if a burglar, like you know, took my stuff and then was like, "I've taken this stuff." Yeah, like but just at least just take it. Don't, that, don't do this like nice thing. And, that, and that's why uh, Leo is pro as well. They're not even allowed one tiny little shape <laughs> no, in his <laughs> Not according to Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, we're Israel. We want to acknowledge that this crowd has belonged to the Palestinians. <laughs> this is time immemorial. I want to give them Iran as well. <laughs> There's, you know, Iran has the largest Jewish diaspora outside of Israel. This diaspora. Oh! <laughs> diaspora. 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 Diaspora outside. Diaspora. Diaspora. <laughs> but, uh, Does he play for Tottenham? <laughs> uh, that, Darius, say it correctly. Diaspora. Is it diaspora? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Diaspora. Well, whatever. <laughs> the, the Got said. the largest Jewish population outside of Israel in in the Middle East. We right. need a clip with all the words he fucked up. <laughs> you know what I mean? so now we can't keep that to a minute. A Jew <laughs> <laughs> to show to Just, children in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what happens if you, you take sure Jen Bruce role. Are you sure yeah. it's, it's diaspora. 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 How do you spell that? D i a aspora s. P O R A. Yeah, diaspora. <laughs> you make you it sound like an Italian sports yeah, yeah, brand. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Another one. Every time. Another Every one. Time. Every time. Every time. Yeah, we should get that um, Khalid <laughs> drop. Another, another one. one. Another one. <laughs> another one. DJ Khalid. But yeah, this right. uh, this Microsoft conference, so they're introducing themselves. I mean, like it's become sort of de rigueur for people to. That's another phrase for you to mispronounce, Darius. <laughs> but it's become de rigueur for people to introduce themselves with their pronouns. You see, on, on dating apps, you get it in emails from people. They say, "Oh uh, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm he him," and it's like, "Well, you're called Steve, and there's a little picture of you. You got a beard. What pronouns do you think I was going to use?" But everybody, <laughs> everybody says it. But yeah. Well, I think, I think. Is anybody I'm fucking. <laughs> what? Are we doing a podcast? Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Can I just ask? He's disengaged and he's playing fucking sound I, I wanna Listen, I want to say something before we go any further. I got invited into the depths of South London to go into a fucking. Right. Just we sat here and then you scream, going, Yeah, we're doing a fucking podcast. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? This I don't is, know. This is it. This is the podcast. This is the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome this to the free speech. Chaos is, welcome is, to the free speech podcast. I'm quite impressed it was going so smoothly. <laughs> 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 I was like, the guys are on top form today. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've got <laughs> I was like, the guys are silly. <laughs> fucking hell. I've got no idea what's fucking going on, what we're talking about, what's happening. But anyway, it's nice to be here, guys. Right, yeah, yeah it's uh, nice to have you. It's nice to have an actual professional. In the show. <laughs> oh, actually, maybe we maybe should introduce <laughs> Francis. So, maybe Fra so if you don't know Francis, is Francis is a f good friend of all of us. He's a comedian. Uh, that's how we know you. But you subsequently mm. went on and you amazingly, um, because if we had to pick anyone, it wouldn't be you. <laughs> Started possibly the most, one of the most successful podcasts out there right now called Trigonometry, um, which has got millions of views. How many, how many subscribers do you have on YouTube? Tell us. Uh, 270,000. 270,000. Subscribers, that's can we? Can, can you Is give us a more retweet? We could really use a few. I think we're on 270. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we so. <laughs> there are 100,000 more than 100,000 times better than us. <laughs> but we're coming up slowly, baby. Um, yeah, but you started that, and when you started it, did you always 
you how long have you been doing it for now? How many years? Twenty eight. Hang on, can, can we get controversial? Yeah, of course you can get yeah. controversial. I know he's gonna ask how much money does he earn. No, 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 no. <laughs> because some people or one comedian might have said you stole the ID. <laughs> 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 and you ran with it. So what, can yes. you can you shed some light on that? Oh, I've heard this. Or, or you can't oh. say that. <laughs> you see, I prepare. You guys don't prepare. I ask the deep, No, you don't. You just questions. bitch with the other comedian. It's <laughs> top secret. Yeah, I'm prepared by not insulting the guests. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, 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 by not even knowing. Know. So why do you hate trans people? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, man? This is like sitting down with three of the wokest people in comedy. This is a fucking trap, isn't it? <laughs> Lock the door. Yeah. Uh, so w what was the question? Was that the question? Uh, no. Because it was a completely different show. Because what originally the podcast that uh, myself and this other comedian, who we're now cool with, and he came on to do yeah, the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, I saw Who's that. this? Yeah. Nick Dixon. Yeah, Nick Dixon. Like yeah. That was beautiful to see. Yeah, he yeah, came on and did the show and talked about how a bunch of fucking woke minges bullied him online. <laughs> <laughs> Disgraceful behavior by yeah. people pretending they're nice people. I'm looking at you. Yeah, I'm a really nice person. I'm going to cheat on my wife, but yeah, I'm a really nice person. And then I'm going to lecture people online. Can we get some gunshots as well? <laughs> some effects after Francis. Ah, uh, this is great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but look, I'm so nice. Oh, what's that? Here's a dick pic, darling. What's that? 19 years old. Oh. <laughs> you know why? Like, it's all of these people who pretend to be nice who are the dirtiest, scummiest people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had one at. Um, in fact, I'm not going to name no one. <laughs> but Francis doesn't care now. He's got two no, 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 Francis no, no, is naming no, no. names. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you after. Who was but, it? No, nah, I'll tell you after. We'll bleep it out. Yeah, I'll bleep it out. I'll tell you after. Okay, I'll you just after. whisper it to me. Because what is it wrong with? Just whisper it to Darius. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it after the show. Well, just tell me and I'll say. Yeah, just tell Darius. Let's carry on. But yeah, these people who pretend to be nice and walk that are doing scummy shit or yeah. you know what i mean dude it's all a pretense oh like, yeah totally. stop this. listen we are human beings we're flawed yeah. i ain't gonna pretend that i'm some holier than thou i heard you stole jokes Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> i've never stolen jokes i've never stolen anything but listen ladies hearts yes <laughs> i like women <laughs> but I love my wife yeah, there you go <laughs> but no and chasing um, zebras you said that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but so and a bunch of other people piled yeah. on Nick. Yeah, yeah, they piled on Nick. It was utterly disgraceful. Nick is a good dude. He's a very good comedian. He just basically retweeted something yeah. that everybody knows in the industry to be true. Yeah. Yeah, and that's do the you wanna, case. Do you want to say what it is? Uh, remind me, what it was basically, so I, got, I he forget got the actual details of the thing. I remember. He got cancelled because he's a, they got, he got cancelled from a, unbooked from a comedy night yeah. because he's a straight white man and they wanted more diversity. Yeah, so that was basically it, right? And he just said, he made a joke about it, which is quite funny. Yeah. Where he just said, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher your joke, Nick, which was um, Martin, I w maybe we should be more like Martin Luther King, not judge the content. Uh, we should judge people by the content of their character or maybe even by the content of their content. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. a funny joke. It's a, and uh, yeah. everybody just went, yeah, you can't say that this is disgraceful. Yeah, and they yeah. all piled on, including members of the industry, which is even more fucking disgraceful. Yeah, but entirely expected. Oh, of course, of course, of course. And then they go, oh, there's no cancel culture in comedy. There's no cancel culture whatsoever. Yeah. But if if you say something we disagree with, then that's disgraceful. Unless you actually molest something, in which case that's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so and there's total double standards with it as well. So there's a, a comedian in Scotland who's um, who's married to another comedian, and he's on the uh, I don't know if he's still in the sex sex offenders register, but when he was a teaching assistant, he had uh, man, this is like a hack joke sexual <laughs> relationship with uh, with a teenage girl uh, pupil at, at the school. And uh, man, what, like, got done for it in court. And he's a comedian that's now. That's pretty bad. It, well, he was a comedian. I don't know if he's still a comedian, but everybody's like absolutely fine with that because he's like woke, and he's you know his wife's yeah, super woke. woke shit. And um, yeah, like it's just weird. But whereas like you know other people, Simon Simon Cain gets cancelled for like standing too close to a woman when he's talking to her. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Big news or, with Simon. He had the, he had the, to, he had the boil removed. Did you yeah. see that? But uh, <laughs> Simon tried to chat to women and people were sitting, he was pestering them. How else are you going to chat to women? <laughs> yeah. you, you've got to be like, yo, you look nice, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Can, can we go for a drink? That's not pestering. Can, can, That's 
You know what yeah, I mean? You can't just sit at home in your yeah, house yeah, and wait. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I hope that women j- just come up and fall that in your lap. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and so the the entire thing is just fucking nuts, mm. right? And what happened to him was a disgrace. And he looks like he's on the way back. He's doing GB News. I'm doing it with him tonight. Hey, Brilliant. Us. Yeah. So, but it, no, it was it was, it was quite for me because I like both of you guys, mm. and it was good to see you guys bury that. I don't know if it was a hatchet, but you know what I mean. To, yeah. To see see it come full circle with Nick on the podcast. I, was, I thought that was great, man. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Big up. And Nick is a killer, man. One uh, of the that, best. The best thing listen, about that whole yeah. thing was people were coming like, oh, he's not funny. He's never been a funny mm. comedian. It's like, listen, you are objectively, but, but you look at the video, you're lying. It's <laughs> obviously yeah. he's funny. Yeah. yeah. It's like whether Absolute you like killer. him, don't like him, he's objectively funny. That's the thing, yeah, 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 yeah. You would go on, you would post a video, right, of you <laughs> murdering, <laughs> like murdering, and somebody don't like you, and they would go, this is clearly not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are those people doing? You can't hear laughter? Like, jeez, it's crazy. As as if you don't like their if they don't like your point of view or your ideology yeah. or whatever, yeah. they're gonna just say you're shit. Yeah. And it's just like, come on, man. Yeah. You know and it doesn't worst, work. You know who the worst for that is? Other than woke people, mm-hmm. one line of comedians. I posted on Reddit that video where I'm slacking off one line yeah. of comedians. <laughs> yeah. And the whole of like their Reddit comedy forum just went mental at me. Go, you're not funny. You're, and like, even though everyone's laughing in the video, and they just fucking started do- like literally doxing me, sending me messages, messages, calling me a cunt. And I was like, yeah, I am a cunt, but one liners aren't funny. And they were fucking <laughs> they were like, one thing I admire about Darius is his commitment. He he will he will he will like he'll fight his corner till the end. So we got other stuff to to talk about. There's also the. Um, We're gonna ask Francis any questions about. Yeah, it. let's ask about uh, trigger not because oh yeah. Um, well, I got a question. What's interest? Yeah. Well, because um, this might be the same question. <laughs> But you, um, <laughs> you, uh, I, I know it's you, not. So you've you've carved out like um, your own audience on mm. uh, platforms like yeah, yeah. YouTube, and you know, you, I'm sure you broadcast on other other platforms as well. We've got six on Twitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we got really excited because we thought like we had two people, and then we realised it was just us, both of them, <laughs> <laughs> different computers. Is Twitch not <laughs> Twitch not kicked off for you. No man. Have you tried playing video games while? On you're tw- no, people? no, we we were trying on a live stream on Twitch it just didn't work right mm. but you live stream on, on YouTube yeah, and, yeah, 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 um, yeah, and you know you've got you've got a real like audience that, that follow you but YouTube and other tech companies have been uh, trying to sort of deplatform you hiding your videos uh, so yeah. shadow banning some of the yeah, videos yeah, yeah. Yeah. and also um, I know on Instagram if you go to follow trigonometry on Instagram you get a warning sign saying oh are you sure you want to follow them <laughs> they seem like a bunch of cunts you know that kind of thing <laughs> that wasn't what I was going to ask <laughs> alright well I was going to well, say how fast is your broadband upload speed <laughs> well, <laughs> that's, that's a legitimate, legitimate, it's a legitimate question. I want to know what kind of upload speed you need for live obviously streaming. Fast. How what much bro- do you spend on your broadband? Uh, it's it's a lot of money. Number one, uh, it's it, the actually hyperoptic, the best broadband. Yeah, Ooh. there you go. If you can uh, get them, yeah, if you can get them, one go hyperoptic. Download. Three yeah. speech. Podcast is sponsored by Hyperactive. If you use the Hyperactive code free speech, you get ten percent discount. That is a a company, a ISP. Um, it's a company. Yeah, it's yeah. a broadband. It's a bro- yeah, yeah. It's is a it a private one or like how yeah. comes no one's heard it's, of uh, it? It's called. It's direct to. Um, it's a high, high speed internet line direct to your thing, so you get one gig download speeds or an upload. Sweet. Yeah, cool. it's very good. I recommend it. And how it. much is it a month? But 52 get, quid. That's not that much. That's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's, mo- that's less than we pay Vittorio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we pay Vittorio a lot, man. <laughs> More than my mobile but, phone. Yeah, the tech it's censorship. Off, it? The yeah. tech uh, censorship. <laughs> the tech censorship worries me because it's so the companies are so opaque, the rules aren't applied, applied evenly and fairly. Yeah. I mean, we saw it with Trump getting cancelled from Twitter, but the Taliban are still on there. Yeah. It's uh, Taliban got good content now. <laughs> yeah, Actually, no, that's a lie. It's ISIS. Said we're ISIS, be ISIS. ISIS. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Don't get them confused. That's they, racist. They all look man. the same to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> these jihadis. <laughs> they all look like go bad. Yeah. <laughs> but how, how do you? I mean, has it sort of impacted you? And how? How do you? Yeah, man. We got shadow banned, so we got Peter Hitchens on to talk about the lockdown when the lockdown was was at its height. And Peter, who is a journalist, came on and was just like, look, these are the facts. These are the reasons I'm against the lockdown. His basic and his central argument is that the lockdown was, is effectively going to cost more lives than it saves. Yeah. And we're probably going to see that. Nobody knows as of yet, but it's the chance that might well be true. 
And then as a result of that, normally our interviews with Peter, the first one's on like 150,000. And this thing was creeping along at like 22K. Mm. And when you think it was a higher lockdown, plus you had Peter Hitchens, who's got a huge audience, something was going wrong. And then we, we did a thing where we actually searched for it on YouTube and it never came up. It never came up. So what we did is, right, right, we've got them, those fuckers. So yeah. we, we recorded it. We then put it out on Twitter. We then got Peter to retweet it. It went semi-viral because it, you could actually see what was physically happening. He wrote a piece on it. And then in about a couple of days, they got rid of the shadow banning and it went no up to 160k. Way. Yeah, yeah. Did they concede or... Is no, 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 no. They, they never you. admit. They, they never, never admit, admit, man. Yeah, yeah. These people, they are the they are the rulers of their own fiefdoms. They mm. never admit you are completely in the dark. At the mm. moment, our Instagram is being shadow banned. So we've got 8.5k on Instagram and our videos now get about 156 views. Mm. Whereas before, they're on 2,000, 3,000. So you've only got 8.5k on Instagram. That's crazy for for a, for a youtube page that's got you know a quarter of a million people over a quarter of a million people. over a quarter <laughs> of a million people yeah and it, then it's only just gone to eight 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 k on on it yeah so. man that, that's crazy yeah but that's that's just how these people work they have a they have a political agenda that they want to push forward that's what they want to do yeah. and if you contravene it in any shape or form Hmm. then they will get rid of you. There, there were accounts that were banned, taken down. Talk radio was taken down. Yeah. Right. Because they had people who were critical of lockdown. Yeah. Novara Media as well on the yeah. other side, you know, got taken taken down from uh, YouTube the other day, but went went back up. But yes, yeah, there's sort of opacity in the, like, the, you don't know what the rules are. So it's Nobody impossible knows. to know, you know, how, how you can avoid breaking them. And here's the thing that's interesting as well is that the rules change. Mm. The rules change. So let's say about a year and a year ago when this all first really kicked off, if you had put up a video say that the virus was created in a lab in Wuhan, you're done. Yeah. They take it down, you're done, you're finished. Strikes against your channel. Now you can put it up absolutely fair enough. Mm. Have you had any strikes against your channel or anything like that? Didn't you guys get demonetized one time? Yeah, uh, we've been demonetized a couple of times. Uh, <laughs> one for a, for a video called uh, Trans Women Aren't Women. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, see, you haven't changed your opinion on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a woman. He's a woman. <laughs> He's fit as well. Yeah, I'm a fit woman. You are? I mean, physically fit, you are. Yeah. You're in good shape, man. No, I mean, I'm attractive. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. okay. I, uh, I meant that as well, that she's attractive. Yeah. What about you, Nico? What? No, if he's I think no, he's fit. A yeah. No, I no you've in, just missed. I beat him in arm wrestling. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Wait, Four times. It wasn't proper arm wrestling. At that ice bar. <laughs> yeah, oh, the ice bar. That, that famous arm wrestling venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you used to hold a gig. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. And I remember that gig. Bam! Yeah. <laughs> it was all over. <laughs> it comes up to me. He's like, it goes to shake hands with me, and then he's like, be prepared. let's yeah. ask what, back to the point because we were asking something I've forgotten what it was, it was like, <laughs> the it's, the, it's the tech censorship Darius do you need, you need medication he was saying, what yeah. are your download <laughs> speeds was, as well as your upload speeds <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he was saying he was demonetized for the yeah, trans wait, one what was the other one what's the what difference it? between demonetized and a flag Right, okay, so this, so this is how it works. So on YouTube, you, you can get a video demonetized, which basically is YouTube saying, look, your content is so controversial, we can't run ads on it, or we can run limited ads, which means that you're not going to make money on it, but we're still going to put your content out. But you could still do like an in-show in ad. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, but you can do that. But right? they're also going to throttle the views because it's not going to make them any money, so there's no point in, in putting yeah. that into the algorithm. So just Exactly, and you can get your channel permanently demonetized and nobody knows why so Michaela Michaela Peterson uh, Jordan Peterson's daughter got her entire channel demonetized shout out to Michaela <laughs> can she, but she can open a new channel right but no but here's the thing right so she was on like 300k and it got demonetized and her stuff is very you know it's just interviews with interesting people that's all it is there's mm. nothing really controversial about it and then she, I think it was like a couple of months ago they remonetized it and they said nothing so she There's went no no warning, no, or just saying, hey, we went through an appeals process and this is the process, yeah, nothing yeah. like that. 
bam. Yeah. So, I mean, what do you think the solution to this? Do you think government regulation of big tech is the is the answer? Because it, uh, at the moment, the big tech, I mean, it's run by billionaires who obviously have political agendas, mm. and the people, you know, the the tech com- tech industry is systemically woke. So you've got everybody making the decisions is being steered by money, uh, a higher agenda or their own personal agenda, and. I don't like that. I like it when uh, when things follow clearly defined rules mm. and with transparent processes. But this is a fucked up thing. So you get people coming on who will go, oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can make your own platforms. They, yeah, they had Parler. Look what happened to Parler. Yeah. They yeah. came up with some <laughs> spurious argument. Parler is, is an app like Twitter. Yeah. Right. They came up with some spurious argument saying, oh, you know, they helped to plan the January the 6th attacks. It's like, what are you talking about? On Facebook, they literally live stream a massacre in a mosque. Yeah. And you know, so the reality is, I don't know what the, what, what the solution is. You're going to have to take these people on. It's going to be very mm. difficult because they can pay for the best lawyers, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. There That's are- the thing, because as well, when Parler and those came about, there was another one. The App Store um, took them off. That's right, yeah. yeah. Which is absolutely crazy so yeah. there's no way around it you build something and yeah. they're gonna say well we don't want you on the apple store the google yeah. google play yeah, store af- so after you're screwed yeah after saying oh well it's, it's a private platform when yeah, you yeah, set up your yeah, own yeah, private yeah. platform set up your own then then, then, <laughs> then, yeah. Yeah, but then amazon but worse than that then amazon took them off the actual fr- they took the actual cl- the actual way yeah. who hosts the actual app they took that down so you could still download the apk but i've got i've got another question for you francis yeah what do you think of adblock plus It's it's the best ad blocker on the market This is what we have to deal with (laughs) I've never once seen an advert on trigonometry (laughs) And uh, I always fast forward when you do a a read to camera But I watch watch it And I leave comments and I like and subscribe Oh there you go I I just don't believe in adverts Uh, Yeah, Francis are you guys threatened by this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you lose sleep? <laughs> <laughs> it's a different market. It's a different market, maybe. Like, oh fuck, Leo and Darius and Nico are coming for us tonight. <laughs> Got you tossing and turning. <laughs> well, actually, they they, they they you you don't we don't we, sometimes we cover similar things, but yeah. I mean, I don't know if you would re- re- refer to Jeff Bezos girlfriend as a slag <laughs> in, your, she in, is. Your, in your show notes which is, is. In, our, is in our show notes yeah. today yeah she's pull up the clip let's yeah. go <laughs> uh, what is her name do we know what her name is slut face slut <laughs> Just so your I didn't say that I'm just referring to the show notes that are aggregated by oh that's very loud god why don't you just suck his dick I mean she's looking yeah how tall is Leonardo DiCaprio? I think Six he's foot. on a step. He's he must be on a yeah. step. Well, or Jeff Bezos though. is five seven, so he's he's quite a short man. Oh wow! I wonder what Jeff is saying because he looks like he shouts something afterwards. I I think it's something innocuous the was there um, because I don't think. Um, but let's pull out the body language again of the lady. <laughs> oh, I was just going to show you the Jeff Bezos' tweet that um, he put out. Uh, oh, he put a tweet out. He's on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jeff Press is on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Danger, steep cliff. <laughs> Leo, Leo, come, come over on. here. I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking. He's looking. <laughs> that is that funny, is, dog. That is funny. Funny. Yeah, yeah. For a billionaire, yeah. that is funny. I, you know, someone. He's, he's, someone's had that written for him. Yeah, <laughs> he's going like, right, cool, Leo. We've, uh, but Jeff, even then, to post it is still props yeah. to Jeff. Yeah, that, yeah, I, I, yeah. That's funny. It's, it's good. Funny. I saw a video of um, Jeff Bezos from like the 1990s or something. He's driving a Honda Civic and he's talking about the beginning of Amazon. Mm. And actually, he comes across as a, pr- a pretty nice guy oh, down man. to earth. The thing is, like, everybody slags off billionaires. They say, oh, capitalism's evil. Jeff Bezos is all these billions. You just stuff. did it two seconds ago saying you hate tech, tech that's, bureaucrats. That's different. I hate, <laughs> I hate, the, I hate the, re- the lack of transparency. And well, that, that Bezos overseas. Yeah. No, <laughs> I mean, that aspect of it. Yeah. But Amazon itself, you're, if we're talking in, from an econ- economics point, point of view, um, these tech companies, they're not, they're not stealing money. They're not stealing wealth like, you know, like a kleptocratic ruler might do. Well, a country's actually, apparently, wealth. you know what Amazon gener- do. The, like somebody like Jeff Bene- Bezos will only keep about 2 to 3% of the wealth generated and the rest is generated and spread amongst all the workers and all the subsidiary companies that, that feed into it. Well, apparently what Amazon do, just to interject, is what they'll have independent marketers on their platform. They'll see which one sells the best. Yep. And if it's selling well... 
they'll just steal their idea yeah. and sell it for much cheaper. Yeah. Which I appreciate because it's cheaper for me, but it's a bit sucks if and you're to, a, to a be fair, Amazon like I don't Amazon suspended um uh the servers that Parler was on. Yeah. Mm. So they were that like, you know, he's he's part of it. Uh, yeah. But funny. So Yeah, funny. We <laughs> <but laughs> give him a slide for that one. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets shit to your door in one Yeah, day, let's so. be yeah. honest. That, like, I mean, Prime is amazing. I, I don't have a Prime. Tesla, so fuck Elon Musk, but yeah, I can't yeah, live. Yeah. Yeah. I can't live without But yeah. Have you seen the lineups for Live at Apollo? No. <laughs> I, 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 I have actually. I don't know why I said no. I'm so used to de denying everything. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen this? No. No. <laughs> no. Francis, you interviewed them. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen your mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, man? Can we this get a is the thing, Can man. Right. So this is. I'm growing it from November, <laughs> right? Like, my, my, I, know, I know you're a right wing like <laughs> podcast or allegedly, but yeah. you've really leaned into this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend was just like, "Oh my god, why do I have to fuck Steve Buscemi?" <laughs> It's, it's not Steve Buscemi, it's yeah, Hitler. Yeah, it's Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> you're, 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 you've got a little side part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take off your glasses. I'm super <laughs> gonna say. Use your data, let me my eyes again, yeah. <laughs> Don't clip that for fuck's clip sake. It, clip it, clip it. I'm just impressed that when you took your glasses off, your nose and your moustache stayed on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's oh. funny. Oh, oh so man. That's funny. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so what are we talking about? The live at the Apollo. Thing? I have no yeah, idea yeah, who's on it. The no, there's some what? great. There's some great acts on there, like Tom Ward. Tom Ward and, is sick. Yeah, amazing, amazing comedian. Really unique I, as well. I, I'll, I'll tell you the truth after we start rolling. <laughs> oh shit! And who? You know what I mean? I will tell you who's good. That's on there. Loiso, fantastic comedian. Is he? Is he only? I thought he's he must hosting. have done it before. He's done it. He's nah, done he's, it before. He's but, done but it a he's couple hosting, of times. He's hosting, and he's a. He's an actually really good comedian that should be there you know what i mean he's got um, a bit of star power as well a little bit yeah, yeah. he's huge in south Africa. he could he's, he's yeah. like he's, he's got millions of followers guy. doesn't he no. tom ward yes tom Ward's funny great. guy yeah. can can do the clubs who else adam Rowe. adam's a good adam guy. adam yeah, is a killer and yeah. also man that guy's car oh, so, so now we're saying look the bbc have done a wicked thing with their booking <laughs> policy we're like oh adam, yeah, yeah. They got it. adam is a killer greatest up killer adam is yeah so yeah who else? Actually, yeah, but he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, th there are some, but I'm not going to name the names. Right well, now. Look, I mean, comedy is subjective. No, 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 no. Podcasts it's have not lost subjective. their balls. <laughs> <laughs> it's not subjective. Trust me, they're yeah. what they're saying before. <laughs> but um, I think it's going to be the last series of Live at the Apollo because the viewing figures have tanked. What? I don't know why, because, you know. The viewing figures. The viewing figures of tank for live at the Apollo. Yeah, what, they're not going through the roof. They're not going through the roof. <laughs> what, they're, they're going down. <laughs> this, but this makes no sense. I know. With these stellar lineups. <laughs> stellar. Stellar. I said that right. R. Does that R? You put an end? R at the end. Stellar. <laughs> you said stellar like it's sponsored by Wife Beater Drink. Yeah. Stellar. Yeah. Stellar. Stellar. So. Yeah. Stellar. Stellar. Ella. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, what, what I like about Adam Rowe, man, that guy's just carved out his own thing. I respect his, Adam Rowe. His empire. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though, Adam, Him, Adam doing Smith. comedy, his accent suits comedy. Yeah. Like, the Liverpool accent yeah. is a fun, inherently funny accent. Yeah. And it's got a rhythm to it that you, dovetails so well with comedy. I guess John Bishop is like the, the ultimate. Yeah. Sort of. The rhythm of the Liverpool. Like when Adam is on a roll, it's yeah. over. Like once he gets that rhythm, yeah, it's like, yeah, fucking hell, yeah, yeah. So the Liverpool accent, brilliant. So what you're got saying, an, what you're saying, he's, he's cheating because he's got a good accent. <laughs> no, 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 but his his use of rhythm is is, yeah. is is sick. He's got a friend who kind of sounds like I think it's Simon something. Wozniak. Yeah, yeah. He's very oh, funny. Man, he's, he's a killer. Yeah, yeah. He's funny. He sounds kind of like Adam as well. But when them guys get that rhythm, I got, man. A, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. a funny story about Sam Wozniak. Yeah, yeah, tell us. We were, we, were, we were at a gig uh, a few weeks ago, um, and, we were, and it was when the Chappelle special came out. So all the comedians were there, and we were saying, you know, it was fucking Chappelle special. And he's a comedian, so he's like, yeah, it's, it's good special, right? Then another comedian who won't be named came and, and was like, no, I can't say that, can't say this, you know, it's really shitting on the Chappelle special. 
And then we kind of look at each other and say, man, I thought this was a safe space to be transferred to. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. He's funny. He, they're very funny. They're, they're, yeah. All those Northern acts, I, I, I respect, they've all kind of carved out their niche and built it themselves. I mean, yeah. the ultimate of... Dan of, Nightingale and, and Adam Rowe have just... Well, 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 and Paul Smith. Yeah. Paul, Paul Smith, Smith is yeah, the yeah, ultimate. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. I think he trailblazed yeah. it. I mean, he did it even more than them because he was like, fuck you, I'm never leaving the club and I'm going to have an orange Lamborghini. Yeah. <laughs> you will respect me. Yeah, and yeah. then I was like, yeah, we will. Yeah. And then fuck it. And then Adams and um, Dan, their podcast is a killer. And, yeah. And uh, uh, Daryl from Just a Tonic what, a couple years ago said, oh, you know who the biggest hustler does them, fills out the rooms? He had the big, he said, Adam Rowe was hustling to get people in. He would get people, he would fly his show, even when it was sold out, just so there'd be a big queue. Adam, Adam has, get in. Adam has that American spirit. He's, he's, he's got he's, that American confidence, that yeah. American hustle, and yeah, he's just like. All right, stop yeah. sucking yeah. his dick. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, but it, it, that's what it is. It's inspirational. He's, he's got that like. He's like. I don't want to say Kevin Hart because I he's don't like think, he's like Andrew Schultz. I would say he's got that yeah. Kevin Hart hustle, but he actually has better material than Kevin. Oh. Mm. I'll tell Kevin Hart that. <laughs> I'll say Nico. No, no, Ke Kevin's first two specials were top class, but the last ones were yeah. a bit. Well, know, he's weak. famous. He's yeah. more famous. But, yeah, once you get too rich and famous, yeah. well, your stand up doesn't reach people anymore. That's, that's why, why people should come and see us instead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Our we're, we're still hungry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're literally hungry. Literally, <laughs> we're in the trenches. <laughs> in the trenches. Still in the trenches. We have important things to say. Yeah. Like uh, like the brothel jabs. So a brothel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. A brothel in Vienna is uh, offering, um, is offer is giving vaccinations, but it's saying you can have half an hour with a prostitute if you have a vaccination. So you may feel a small prick. Hey! hey! No blow job, no jab. Yeah, well. Little curse on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Vienna brothel offers. Customers. I want to see. Oh my God, is that one of the prostitutes? That looks like Mark Steele. <laughs> Oh, oh, hello. Oh, I'd love it yeah. if it was oh, Mark Steele. Oh, suddenly, suddenly the fire jab looks more enticing. Who's that picture of that man? Uh, that's, yeah. that's, Is it a brothel owner? That's her. <laughs> After she's had the jab. <laughs> <laughs> no, what, what's that picture? Wait, I think it's that just, that's just the brothel's classy uh, art. Well, you know what it is? Oh, Nico, what, what you're not familiar it's a Vienna, with. That's a Vienna and Chuckle Brother. No, you know what it is? Nico never grew up with Eurovision. So basically, <laughs> not Eurovision. <laughs> no, uh, Euro Trash. Euro Euro Trash. 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 Yeah, so he has no amazing. clue about the Europeans. The greatest show in the world. Yeah. Yeah, you're it a was like the internet before the internet. You're, you're you never what? you're a trash man. When we eleven thirty five Friday nights, Channel Four. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, Lola <laughs> that Ferrari. Do you remember yeah. that? Oh. Yeah. Lola and, Ferrari. Oh, okay. she's, she's Someone dead, explain yeah. it. Yeah, no. Yeah, great woman. Yeah. Someone explain, Someone explain it. To... So uh, Antoine de Cohn and Jean Paul Gaultier would the designer, uh, introduce designer. would introduce uh, sort of weird uh, sexy things happening in Europe, like um, like just. German men who dress up in teddy as teddy bears and shit on each other in the woods. You know, that, it was that amazing. Kind of stuff. It was all okay. that kind of stuff. And soft, cool. kind of soft porn, but really yeah. funny. What's that have to do with that picture? Because they'd all look like that man in that picture. <laughs> yeah, and all the women <laughs> like, look like that woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there we go. It was, it was one of the pinnacles of 90s entertainment. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Yeah. Boom. It, was, so, uh, yeah. it wouldn't get made Hilarious. today, and it was, and actually, it's probably actually genuinely really progressive. Well, yeah. A generation of British men to question their sexuality on a weekly basis. <laughs> yeah, I continue my your French lesson. Le téton. <laughs> and now the most important part of the man is le bit, the penis. <laughs> the penis. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's funny. It's really, it's really well done. Yeah. It, like, it takes the piss out of the British as well as, you know, yeah. Euro trash. Uh, and most importantly, you'd see some tits every now and again. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Which, that and, was yeah, you, you would, you, it, it was a playoff between like you are like it was a gamble. You might see some pensioner dick, yeah, but you <laughs> might also see some some supermodels. And they did yeah. get this was the thing they got supermodels. Naomi Campbell was on that TV show mm. at the peak. Like Jean Paul Gaultier was. Did she get the, a tit set? I don't think she had big tits, but like, okay, I'm sure she probably got them out on a, on Imagine a. Imagine how shoot. disappointed you'd be. You tune in and then you know. That's what it was. This is before yeah. the internet. So this yeah. is this is You're like, looking for oh. old age pension and dick and you get Naomi <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is this? You had to work for it back in the day is yeah. what we're yeah. saying. Yeah. Yeah. You they don't like, respect Granddad, yeah. come downstairs. Yeah. yeah. You exactly. like back in the day you had the VHS and you'd stay up late, you bore a v that's the thing. You had to look another man in the eye 
and ask him for a, a video. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And he, he knew you were going to win. And you had to masturbate in the living room. Yeah. 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 Like, and, uh, with the, a remote control in one no, hand. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing. I was jerking off before the remote control. So I'd be sitting right next to the TV. <laughs> and with my hand close to the plate. One hand on stock and yeah. one hand on my dick. And this is like in midnight. You, you know, know what I mean? happened to and me think, as well. <laughs> the thing is, right, the only thing that was sure at midnight was teleclassified ads. So when you press start, you're just there like, yeah, dad, I'm looking for a car. <laughs> I'm looking for a used car. <laughs> I need an Netflix. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. If I was your dad, I'd be more worried that you got a boner on a classified car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this one is cheap, man. <laughs> No <laughs> to 60 in yeah, 8 yeah, seconds yeah. And a negotiable as well <laughs> Do you know I used to sell porn mags at school man that I was did my, that as well oh, That really? was my hustle Yeah that I did man yeah, Where yeah. did you Made get them from? Right What from we used shop. to do What we used to do Yeah a little shop right We used to go I used to live near Wimbledon So we used to go To a shop in Chessington Which was literally Miles and miles away With my friend Brian right and then we, Brian, who was uh, uh, who's a little Indian guy, would go in, right? And then they, it would lure the shopkeeper in. She'd be like, oh, this nice little Indian boy, what does he want? He'd then smack down about 40 <laughs> porn mags in front of her, throw the money at her, and then we'd grab him and then run off. Mm. And we'd sell it. <laughs> we sold the Mayfair Summer Special for 20 quid wow. back in 96. How much was it off the shelf? For like three fifty or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. No, so maybe it was a bit more expensive. It was about five. five, five well, quid. How, how said, voracious was the porn appetite <laughs> in your school? <laughs> but but you would pay for the mags. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we paid for the mags okay, and then cool. sell them They're on not a thieves, higher price. Just like porn peddlers. Yeah, exactly, man. We <laughs> were doing a service. Larry Flint of Wimbledon. No, right? it's, it's, it's the way you said that the little Indian guy would lure. No, no, yeah, 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 because my mate Brian, because he'd go in and then they wouldn't suspect. Wait a minute, hold on a second, just clarify, you have an Indian friend? <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, 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 I'm not racist. Hang on, hang on, hang on, called Brian. <laughs> 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 it sounds fabricated. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Repose, I know you're watching, Brian. <laughs> Let's clip that. I want to send it to him. Yeah. Hello, Brian. Hey, Brian. From three speech. Hello, Hello Brian Patel. <laughs> <laughs> Repose, you racist motherfucker. I think, I think you're just pronouncing biryani wrong. Biryani. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unbelievable. Have you got in trouble? <laughs> That's funny, though. Yeah. If he was Brian Biryani. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you meant Biryani was his first name. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what he meant. Yeah, that's what yeah. I meant. No, yeah. but it could be funny could if be. It, if that was his porn name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bring in the heat. Biryani. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever got in trouble doing this show? Like, no, not, just, not enough people no watch it. <laughs> oh, we try. We try. No way to tell people watch this shit. Then you, then you type in three speech, <laughs> we don't even come up. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a shadow back <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The fucking admin on this podcast. Is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and they try and cancel us. It's like, ah, oh, don't bother. <laughs> <laughs> You've never got people like messaging in going, this you fucking. Oh, no, I think we had one this week, actually. Oh, when, really? when, when, when Darius was talking about critical race theory, I think there was an Asian guy from America who. Uh, kicked up a little bit of a fuss. About was it, it, called, was it called Brian? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see this. Uh, I'll try and bring it up. I think it's on on the old Twitter. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was. Yeah, someone messaged me about. Um, Darius's take on critical race theory and he got it all wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a it's a but, it's a controversial uh, take. Apparently, did I get it wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Here's the thing. So let's are... this and see if he thinks I got it wrong, if we can find the actual uh, video. So this is the, the video. So, uh, it's down here. Here we go. Suhail Patel. Mm -hmm. Let's watch the video because I can't even remember what my take on it is. Um, Very flexible with it. When we were growing up, if you went to school with me, it's like, oh, Nico, Darius. Yeah. In fact, all three of us, we, that'd be, that that would be it, right? Now it'd be, oh, Nico's a slave, Darius <laughs> is an immigrant, and Leo's the oppressor, which is true. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a point. We would have known about it, right? And it would have been better for it. <laughs> that's right. That's but that's how it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> is that not what they're trying to teach? 
I don't know. Uh, and then Sahil, know Sahil Patel says, what a load of bollocks. That's <laughs> not really a cancellation, though. No, no, no. no yeah. but that's, uh, that, you should, know, it's you know more, more a statement tell of fact. Him go, tell him, <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder he's interested in bollocks. He's probably fucking selling porn. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Nah, well, I don't joke. think people sell porn anymore because, like, who'd buy? I, I can't believe in, in Melbourne there's a there's a porn theater, a place across from a hotel where I was staying. There's a is porn theater. I'm like, well, who's <laughs> fucking? Who's is the guy from Monty Python allowed to do like, some porn? There? Who's like, I know what's missing from this wank? Uh, some social anxiety, <laughs> and also I need to pay for it. You know what I mean? But everybody's got porn on their. When I was at now. when I was at university, Louis, my friend, and we went to. Uh, he's called uh, Louis, actually. Well, I call him Louis. Is he Asian and, as well? No, he's <laughs> actually he's Egyptian. <laughs> he's an Egyptian. <laughs> Egyptian. So he's an African. Okay. Yeah. So we went to. We he, he insisted that actually two times. First of all, we were going for it. Is this is when Soho was still a bit seedy. First one, we insisted we go to this peep show in Soho, right, where you paid two pounds to get in, and we we walked in and, and you go into like this little booth and you open it up and there's like a a woman like middle-aged woman with her fucking shopping bag, right? Tesco shopping by a bed and she's lying down there not doing anything. So I see her, I see Le Louis bang on the glass, <laughs> right? She goes over to Louis, like entertains him. I'm just sat there looking at a fucking bed for like two minutes. Then it gets kicked out. Then Louis goes, all right, we've got to go to one of these. Do you remember when they used to have strippers outside of those Soho where they'd yeah. try and lure you in? Yeah, the yeah. clip joints. Yeah. Do you, do you know how they work? So what? Would I, I worked on the police to like shut some of them oh, down. So we got, well, we got lured <laughs> bad right so we we're walking by and this one's come down you don't you just come and have a drink one drink's fine and i was like oh, i don't want to go and lose that as there was like, no come please because louis he was a muslim right so he's proper desperate to see some women right <laughs> this is the first year of university so i was like oh fuck it so we went in as we were going in a, like a couple of spaniards would be crying getting kicked out crying going don't go in don't go in he's a scam i went sure it's fine we, went, <laughs> <laughs> we, we go in right and they're like some woman was like dancing on the stage right and this woman comes up to us and goes, do, do you want a drink? And we're like, no, nah, well, no. So you, you have to have a drink. Would, would you like me to have a drink with you? And we're like, no, we're, we're really kind of socially anxious. We don't want you to have to just, come on, God, have, a, have a drink with us. But buy me a drink. Go on, buy me a drink. Go on. I was like, oh, fuck it, right? Anyway, so we buy a drink. And we're like waiting for something to happen. Nothing happens. So it's about half an hour. We've had like what? He's had a Coke because he's Muslim, but he still likes <laughs> porn. And I've had a, I've had like a, like half a beer. I'm like, oh, fuck it, we're going. So we're going. So we're like, okay, I'm just going to get the bill. So Coke, half a beer. They bring the bill out. It's like £242, right? They charge you for, for the woman escorting you down the stairs into the club. Then for sit for her seating down, the hosting, that was another 100 quid. When she asked us to, to sit down, they they um, they charged again. So I was, so then they tried to charge us uh, what, £250, but Louis is a psychopath. So he had a, he had a screwdriver on him at all times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He used to walk around with a screwdriver and he went, I'll pay for the drinks. I'm not paying anyone. Anyway. And then the bounce went, oh, you will fucking pay. And Louis went, I'm going to stab you in the neck. He went, okay, we won't. You don't have to pay. So we didn't have to pay. <laughs> the story. Yeah. So the moral of the story is wherever you go, oh, bring yeah, a screwdriver. Yeah, well, the, the moral of the story is if you're Muslim, bring a screwdriver because <laughs> then you look like a jihadist and they, they don't fuck with that. Yeah. Also, you can also just go to the police. You the couldn't, police... they wouldn't let you out. They wouldn't, they would stop physically. Stop oh, yeah, us but you, if you pay the money, then go to the police. The police will take you back and the, the, the people will just cough up because it's, it's a known scam. And Oh, you know, really? Cause, but oh. the thing is, most of the time, it's like businessmen and stuff who don't want their yeah, wives shame. to find out. So, you know, and they can afford it. So, you know, they'll, they'll just like. But they march people to cash points and stuff. There's also street clipping, which is uh, where, you know, when you in Soho and so, some of the doorways, um, it says, this is not a brothel. Um, you know, there are no <laughs> prostitutes here. Yeah. That's uh, because street clippers like girls will meet um, guys in the street drunk guys and they'll be like oh do you want to have some fun with you know Swedish twins or whatever and the guys well yeah brilliant and uh, they take, <laughs> take the money off they take them to a door and uh, take the money off them and post it through the through the door and say well come back come back in half an hour and the girls will be ready and uh, you know the guys think that because the money's been posted through the door it's all legit and stuff yeah. but actually they haven't they've just pretended to post the money through the door and the guys go back half an hour later banging on the door let me in so I can have sex with Swedish twins and like oh. obviously it's just somebody House. I can you imagine <laughs> that poor person just go oh, for fuck? I have to fuck yeah. this guy as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got to find Another Swedish twin. Yeah. He yeah. hasn't even had a vaccine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they don't put the money through the door? No, no, they just keep it. Slate of hand.
Okay. Is that, is that, and what's later? Nico's like, like, so like so it was, the money wasn't pun. through the door. Like, <laughs> Darius uh, Nico's just said. Nico's banging on this door. <laughs> Darius just said slate of hand instead I mean, of slate of hand. I mean slate of hand. <laughs> it's accelerating. <laughs> <laughs> He's rivaling Biden. I'm tired. <laughs> 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 oh, so wait, 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 wait. What's, what's behind the door? Is anything behind? It's just somebody's, somebody's house. house. Just a random yeah. house that yeah. they pick, or does the person in that house in on the scam? No, in. no, the house isn't in on the scam. It's just uh, street clipping, so they do it without a venue, so it's, it's very easy to do. Um, and uh, you know, whereas uh, the clip joints, you need a you need a venue. Men men fall for any anything in it. Oh, <laughs> of as long as of pussy's involved, yeah. men, men are like okay. Uh, when, you, you know, the amount of hope, the amount of hope, and the lack of cynicism you have when there might be pussy. Yeah. You know, just it, it's mad. You know, like I remember, I went to this club, right? I'm in this club, and you know they got shot girls. Yeah. And you know shot girls, they flirt with you. Yeah. They're paid to flirt with you, so you will buy drinks. Yeah. And that's what they do. Yeah. And I had a friend, this Australian guy, fucking. <laughs> he thought he's like, nah, Nico. I'm telling you, this <laughs> one is definitely into me. Definitely into me. He t and so <laughs> buying shot after shot after shot. She says to him, he's like. I want your number. She's like, I'll, I'll give it to you after my shift. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so more drinks, more drinks, mm. more drinks. This man racked up over 315 shots. Fuck. Fuck. And he said, he's like, nah. I was 350? Like, was he buying them for how many people? Like probably right. three of us. Fucking hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like, yeah, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely going to give you the number. 105 shots oh, but I, No, but I, I, I honestly tell him, I was like, Sean, She's not into you. Right? Yeah. She, this is what she gets paid for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The She then says, the night closes up and he goes, yeah, yeah, you say you're going to give him a number. She's like, oh, management is watching me now. We're not meant to give up the number. Mm. She says, um, meet me wrong <laughs> the back. Another show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah. She's like, meet me wrong the back or around, you know, let's say at two. Yeah. Where management is and I'll give you my number. Yeah. And the guy goes up there. And he waits. Poor I, was guy. Like, oh. I was like, Sean, she is not coming. <laughs> oh, Where was the man waits three weeks. Three fifteen. <laughs> before he three fifteen before he goes, okay, maybe she's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> she must have got delayed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. must have got stuck <laughs> in traffic. Listen, she but I just say the level of hope yeah, when there's a yeah, snip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fucking men are sad, man. We're but sad. it's like when you just deny it to yourself and yeah. you text the girl, yeah. nah, she's been on the tube for a long time. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Five days. <laughs> Better just send another 25 messages just to make sure she's... Oh, Are you there? Man. That's a brutality of WhatsApp, though. You can see she's seen the message. Mm. Not, every, not all the time. Some of them put you on the... All the time. Put yeah. on yeah. Double no, some yeah. of, no, 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 some of them some do that, that non-red Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but the they've grade. seen it. But you nah. know they've seen <laughs> they've it. Seen yeah. it. So, yeah. No oh, one doesn't look at their phone yeah. for two days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't had her phone on her for like the last 24 weeks. <laughs> man. Where was that? In Newcastle? No, that was in Islington. Oh, it was in oh, Islington. Man. Yeah. Imagine what 350 pounds worth. 50 quid in shots. In mm. Newcastle would get you. That'd like kill a man. Newcastle. You yeah, buy in Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can buy a house. But nah, it was crazy. Like... He just believed it because she was flirting and yeah, she, you know she like strippers show, like, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I, I had was she one. good at it? Was she yeah. fit? Oh yeah, you. I at first I was like, is she? But then I realized, oh, she's doing this to every single person. Yeah, you yeah. Know? But he couldn't see that. Yeah, he, he's like, oh no, nah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He was just waiting to say, I can rescue you, baby. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can rescue you. That's like what Zara yeah. was saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that these men think they can rescue the porn stars or whatever. Mm. Mm. I had. To, it was a callback, but this was different though. When I went to a strip club and there was a Russian woman in there, and she was just super fit, man. Mm. I think I spent, and this was like my stag or whatever. I think I spent like two sixty on her, just getting dances from her. But it wasn't like. But I was like, did you get, this, did this you get was, a vaccine? <laughs> <laughs> this was more like she is fit. Yeah, yeah. and I wanted that. I want her dance with me. Yeah, this wasn't yeah. like oh, 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 
But I can rescue her. She's my her. girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's my girl. I don't she like strip man. clubs, man. I just feel like it's just I don't. It's get... weird. It's, nah, weird. it's, it's a piece a total... of steak you can't touch. Yeah, yeah. and also it's yeah. like a total sausage fest. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, nah, it's... but she, that doesn't melt to prints. Do you know the yeah. most depressing yeah. moment? Yeah. Full of women, man. The most depressing moment in life is when you're at the strip club and the lights come on. Oh man! No, no, no! Being sober in a strip club is painful. Yeah, it's sober because oh, yeah. yeah. you're just like no, no, no. I'm cool. Uh, no, no, it's cool. If, no, no, no. If you are sober in a strip club, it is hard. Do I went to one in Newcastle, and shut up for your eyes only. <laughs> <laughs> and I was sober, and I went in there, and there was this girl in there, and she was like pestering me to lap dance and whatnot. Yeah, and I was sober. I shouldn't have gone. I should have just gone back <laughs> to my hotel room. But I was like, you know, eventually the pest, pest, I was like, all right, yeah, lap dance. But she had like a stab wound. What? <laughs> she, had, <laughs> she had a stab wound like over here. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a big ass. And I was like, I wasn't uh, into it. And she, it was the most awkward thing. And she could tell that I wasn't well, into it. Now you know, it. now you've learned about consent. That's how <laughs> yeah. it feels. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I was like, nah. You should have sold her some shots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was like, nah, end this. This is, yeah, she, yeah. we both were not having fun. It was right. the most awkward thing. <laughs> I was like, I, 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 a principle, I wouldn't have ended it. I'd, I'd say, work your shift. I paid money, man. <laughs> I, dated, um, I dated that Stringfellow stripper. We went to. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a funny story. So, uh, why was it funny? Well, when she came out of the shower. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> she, yeah, so she, she, said, she had a penis that <laughs> shared. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but when she so she was Nigerian, but um, uh, man, totally beautiful girl. But uh, she's always like, I'm not taking my my hair off in front of you. Like I'm not taking my. And I'm like, baby, you can take your weave off. You know what I mean? Man, she took it off. I was like, whoa! <laughs> don't, don't stab me! It's like <laughs> from this beautiful woman turned into DMX. You know what I mean? I was like, fuck me! <laughs> but she said, <laughs> that'll be the bit that gets his cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Very much she turned into DMX. It's <laughs> mad the difference hair makes. It's frame in a face. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like the, the guys from the like the long <laughs> hair to the corners. I mean the first, the first, um, <laughs> um, the first uh, black lassie. Uh, <laughs> the first like black lassie I dated who wore a wore a weave. I mean I was kissing her and stuff, and I was like, "What are these lumps in your head?" And she's like, "I'm wearing a weave," and I'm like, "What the fuck's a weave?" And she's like, she explained it to me. She's like, Did you think this is my real hair? And I like, yeah, I thought you had like purple fucking streaks of hair, you know. But yeah, like, I, I had no idea. I just yeah, yeah. thought she had like lumps in her head or something. <laughs> but not uh, white women. Him, white dude. women get uh, extensions as well too. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah you like clipping, clipping. Yeah, yeah, ones, yeah, yeah. 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 To make their hair look thicker as well. Yeah, but that, that's funny, man. Oh yeah, but this this uh, last the stripper last year dated. So she was she was a she man she was like pretty sort of high level uh, stripper and and escort and stuff. But um, she, so she did. <laughs> hang on, hang on. There's a there's a clip online. It's hilarious, right? This man he's um having doggy style sex with his black woman, right? And he he pulls her hair. And it comes off, no. <laughs> but he doesn't stop. He keeps fucking, and he puts on the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, this oh guy's a ch- puts it on. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's brilliant. Man. Oh my god, comedy gold. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So that, but this lasted. Um, she said that the the stripping industry went through the same thing that comedy went through. Mm. So this, wait, how long ago was it? it? Must be like seven Five years. Seven Six. years ago, I was. I was seeing her. Was uh, st- I still had a job. I still had a proper job. Mm. Um, that's why she was interested in me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, seven years ago. but she's so she said like uh, the stripping industry got deregulated, so all these new uh, strip joints set, started up. All the sp- spearmint rhinos or whatever. Mm. But like, and everybody thinks they can be a stripper. Like everybody thinks they can be a comedian. Mm. But there's actually a lot of skill at like the pole work and everything. There's a lot that you got to learn. You got to be really good. But she said it just like it brought down. And there's a financial cra- crash. Yeah, so it yeah. brought down. All of a sudden, people couldn't put the money they're spending in strip clubs on their bank's credit card, they had to spend their own money. So then they're being tight as fuck. And all these like new strip clubs started up. So there's a real like crunch in the in the I wages. I went to a strip club once in it's not even a club, it's 
like a pub in like Bethnal Green somewhere. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With a pint one. glass. A pint glass and yeah. pound coins. It, they yeah. used to do that in Newcastle a lot. Yeah. That's just, yeah. They passed around the thing. That's a sorry <laughs> state of affairs. Well, you don't, you don't <laughs> want to be putting the pound coins in their underwear. So yeah. I know, but it's just like. Of, it's open mic it stripping, is isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about myself. <laughs> Imagine that, a bucket at the end. <laughs> 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 a bucket at bucket end. speech, uh, if you enjoyed what we've done today. <laughs> <laughs> if, you want, if you want to pay for me to get my stab wound. Yeah. 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 Keep, keep the, supporting live stripping. Is. <laughs> the other clubs in the area charge. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a discount card if you come back to six business free. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we've got special guest strippers as well. <laughs> we, don't, we never know when. <laughs> have we got anything more have on the list? email of... list for strip clubs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're on a mailing list for a strip club? It probably is, you know. But, or we, we kind of run out of top, what, time, but we, do we have anything else we can que- briefly touch on? Uh, well, we've, we've got the... Uh, there's the Robin Tran joke, or there's the unisex burka. All right, let's go. Well, I, d- I do, didn't know the Robin Tran. Let's joke, do. So let's, let's just watch a Robin Tran joke. Do that, and then call it a day because cool. we've, we've gone long and Francis needs to. Robin Trans. Get so the links in the thing. Yeah, I put, brought it up, but I think I might have just opened. Is his up. name Robin Tran because he's trans, or Robin? It's or a she's, woman. I said she, or Robin Tran because she's like Vietnamese. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? This guy is gone. Is that... <laughs> Vietnamese. <laughs> Vietnamese. 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 All right, cool. Uh, when I was single, I jerked off to some pretty horrible things, okay? Nothing illegal, but Wait, just pause. things. Pause. Pause. That is a a woman or a man? It's a trans woman. Transgender woman. A trans woman. Why would meaning you trans lesbian comedian. So meaning that that was a man who transitioned. That's a man who is now a woman. Who's into women. No 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 no. What? Is it a man who has transitioned into a woman? Into a woman who, who likes in who likes women. Who likes women? Okay, cool. Yeah. So, so, okay. so the Microsoft conference. Mm. Yeah. Wearing a blue denim jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and it wasn't the porn that I was worried about. It was that I used to like, I used to masturbate to to pictures of some of my female friends, you know. And by some of them, I mean like every single one of them that I've ever met <laughs> in my entire life. So I go on their Facebooks and I would like right click save as. They're oh I know it. Yeah, it gets worse. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, folks. We're gonna get through this together. <laughs> and then I would have to like alphabetized their pictures for easier access, you know? It was like, it was like the GUI decimal system on my computer, you know, I know. What's GUI decimal? So, so it's a pun right. on Dewey decimal, Dewey decimal system. Hard drive, because I was worried, like what if I died and they find my hard drive, they have to round all these women up. They just found out I died and they're about to get wor- worse news, you know, they're like, did you know that Robin had all your pictures saved in a hard drive called goodies? Did you guys, you guys know that? Oh, fuck, don't judge me. I never told them. <laughs> don't tell them. That's fucking creepy, all right? And I'm not a creep. <laughs> In fact, I got off from not telling them. That was my favorite part, is that I would masturbate to the thought of them not knowing that I masturbated to them. So that's what got me off. I just be like, oh, yeah, you trust me, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> Sorry, oh yeah, you trust me. I was just thinking that. You trust me, don't you? So when I was single, I jerk. That's it. That's the joke. And what's happened? So, um, well, it's been called out because that's kind of like it's a bit mis- like if somebody like a straight, straight yeah, if, man, I was straight thinking white a straight man. man did that, it's over, yeah. Oh yeah, they'd be banned, they'd yeah. be cancelled. I'm, I don't know why people are like, if somebody, you know, puts on a, and is a real woman and puts on a wig, um, <laughs> Francis is just leaning out. This is it. This is it. I don't know why it's fine. <laughs> why is it fine when a real woman, I mean a real woman, oh, yeah. does it? Uh, if uh, like, you know what I think the real crime is there, which is why people are getting outraged, because so it's caused outrage. 
a little bit. I think okay. it's been caused some outrage. Okay. But I think the I crime... think one of the things is um, this lady was on Vulture's uh, comedians who you have to like. Uh, the, the, it's a hot list of the, the freshest new comedians, and it's probably not the strongest material. Well, I, well, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't think it was great. Wow, so it wasn't awful, but it's not like you didn't. It's, better, it's, it's better than what you see on Apollo. I thought. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm telling. <laughs> I think. I think. I think yeah. the crime there is it's a trans lady, but clearly just doing male jokes. Because that's a male. I've I've heard jokes like that before, where a guy said, "Oh, I look at the girls' Facebook holiday pictures." Yeah. I mean, that's the joke I tell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've heard that it's like it's a male joke, and she, he, she, they are not even. She, yeah, she's, they. she's reframing it. Well, they're not even trying it's to change, clever. but they're not trying to change. They're not trying to change anything. But it's, it's celebrated instead of like if that was like, you see stuff like that open mics, and you know the 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 guys are just you know they're never gonna get anywhere because and everybody thinks it's horrible. It's it's like certain things when you are. <sighs> this is difficult to phrase but if you are a member of the lgbtq community or you're seen as a minority they let you get away with certain stuff so right. for instance like um oh yeah i remember i used to do this joke this dude comes up to my girl at a party and i remember this joke and he just goes boop, boop, on her boobs just grabs her boobs doo -doo, and I'm like, how is that okay? And they go, oh, he's gay. Don't worry about it. That's fine. You know what I mean? Like, if a gay man does that, right? So then it, the joke I used to do is like, so what? You telling me if I were walking down Brixton High Street and I grabbed some booze, but I ran off like this? <laughs> 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 it, it'd be fine. You know, I mean? you know what I mean? But also, it's like the whole Philip Schofield thing. Did Philip Schofield grab your leg? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he comes out. If that was a straight man who comes out and and says, "I've been cheating on my I've wife. been cheating on my wife for how many ever years, live, leading a double life," he would get rents and oh, cancelled. Yeah. Mm. But because he's coming out and saying I'm gay, mm. people let it slide. Yeah, and it's also like you watch certain comedians go on, and they. They can say some stuff. I've seen a gay comedian said to a woman something about her vag and how it smells. Mm. And I just, I just thought to myself, dude, imagine if a straight guy said that. Yeah, yeah. His career would be fucking yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you're part of a minority or the LGBTQ community or whatever, the society gives you a pass on right. certain things. So I think unless you're Kevin Spacey. But he's not There's a member. Limits. He, 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 nah, nah. There's limits. But he's not a member of. He tried it. He did try it. What did he say? He said, "I'm gay." <laughs> like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but you, you kind of have to know. You can't do it after the fact. He yeah. did it after the fact. Yeah, yeah. Whereas Philip. Wait, was did like, Kevin Spacey just come out as gay after he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, that was it. Was it like he got accused it? of like uh, of of sexual misconduct and whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys, yeah. guys, 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 yeah, I got yeah, this. Yeah. Hollywood, 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 Hollywood. Yeah. I'm gay. And they were like, yeah, we're cool with that. So you're still cancelled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so. That's mad. Uh, and then all the all of his accusers started dying mysteriously. Right. Yeah, they're really like, mysterious. Like the Clintons. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he's a good actor. The Clintons yeah. accused Kevin Spacey? No, the no, Clintons, no, no, like no. people who... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably shared a flight to Epstein Island. Mm -hmm. Possibly, you know. Mm. A lot of people were on that flight. John uh, Legend and uh, his, his wife were on that flight. Travis mm. Scott committed a satanic um, ritual the and biggest, sacrificed biggest story of the eight week people we even... and we forgot to talk about it. I love that you've, you've waited like an hour and 20 <laughs> minutes in you're like the major yeah, defamation. I was, I was, I was, Travis not... Scott committed a what? A, 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 a demonic sacrifice. <laughs> We, and, can, and we can't laugh about this, man. There's like, dead. I, I actually, we can't, this, I can't. actually, you know what? Because it was, but the whole imagery of that whole event is actually, when you think about it, it seems the way it's even being presented yeah. is the fact that we don't even feel like, oh, it's something that I, we could actually just laugh about. Is how little they've given. But doesn't that say something to you? How little media attention has been given to it since the yeah. weekend? The eight people, all under the age of like twenty-five, a nine-year-old, one nine-year-old, a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old died. Nine a nine-year-old doing it. 
fucking concert. Yeah, but, yeah. But, 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 but not that that's uh, I'm yeah. excusing it. But, but that's hold crazy on, they that, died. Yeah. They died, and just days later, it's been so not in the public consciousness that we were laughing. It's like, actually no, you know, it's serious. But like. Then just no news story on that. And it was, if you watch it, some of that video... Oh, Apparently first, they're being sued, though. Him and Drake are being yeah. sued yeah, but right, left and centre. But that, that's that's some that's solace to the family. Well, but the whole imagery of everything on that was like, if you know anything about the, the all C and I and all the... the it was it was like, yeah. definitely like satanic imagery at the very least. And there's one video, he sees the guy being taken out. He's like, yeah, it's, it's creepy, man. Yeah. And it's like, see you on the other side. They said it's like a portal and there's some people like... Uh, there's a Reddit anyway. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a it, read into it, man. It's some scary shit. All right, let's wrap it up. Should we wrap, wrap it up? up. We what are all the up. words that Darius mispronounced today? None. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> uh, That's a hard word. Vietnamese. Slate of hand. I can't remember the rest. Slate of hand. There was one right at the start. That diaspora. 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 Yeah. Diaspora. Yeah. Diaspora. Oh man. But listen. Francis, you got anything to shout out? Francis, Do you want to plug you your for, podcast? Francis, yeah. thank you for coming <laughs> out. You want to plug your hugely <laughs> successful podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, go and watch Trigonometry, I guess. Who have you got Hold on, hang on, hang on. Really... What's your favourite episode of Trigonometry? The, uh, the, the, one entrep- with, the one with Dr. David Nutt, who is a former drugs advisor. Oh, he's the psilocybin oh, yeah, guy. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the former uh, advisor drugs to, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to Gordon Brown's government, who was fired for pointing out a statistical fact, which <laughs> is that you're less likely to to die from taking ecstasy than you are from horse riding. He got fired for that fact. And he's now... And, and he also said that weed and ecstasy and, and something else is less harmful than alcohol. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And he said shrooms should be illegal, right? Yeah, should, should be legal. Should be legal. And he's actually uh, heading up a research centre at the Imperial College London mm. looking into how mushrooms and psychedelics can treat people with severe anxiety and depression. Anxiety, yeah. PTSD, or OC, OCD. Yeah, All yeah, of this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. because yeah, it acts as basically as a reset for the brain it's we're, a brilliant we're, ep- we're, episode we're yeah, going to do fantastic. a live DMT session uh, <laughs> if you want a couple of weeks <laughs> in two weeks time I'm going to have it and we're going to do a live DMT if you want to watch it live now are you going to get a three speech and a trigonometry uh, trigon- I yeah. Spread him, mate. <laughs> a trigonometry mashup. Yeah. yeah. A I, clash. I, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be the ones doing the heavy lifting in the viewing numbers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who, um, uh, finally, before you go, Francis, what guests have you got coming up that we can be excited to see on Trigonometry? Hang on, hang on. I love the one with Laura as well. Laura Dodsworth. Laura Dodsworth. That oh, is yeah, really, she's amazing. I like yeah. Posey yeah. Parker. You like Posey? Yeah, she's combative. She stands her ground. Yeah, I like man. that. She, I yeah, like that. She's yeah, Laura's fit, though. Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Posey, Greg- Posey extrapolates. So she starts off in like, we're here now. And then she, she lets her imagination take flight. And I like where it goes. <laughs> it goes where my imagination goes, <laughs> which I like. So I, I think, yeah. Posey is the trans person? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's the one. Trans women aren't, wi- uh, trans women aren't women. That got us demonetized. Mm. Oh. oh, did she? That's probably why I like <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is a controversial episode. <laughs> I like this. Um, so who have you got coming on, man? Uh, we got Kathleen Stock, who is the lecturer cancelled by uh, Sussex. Well, she wasn't. Uh, the students tried to cancel at Sussex University um, for her being gender critical, basically saying that men and women are different. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it was basic scientific fact. She yeah. said, you know, there's uh, gender is a construct, but biological sex is real. Yeah. Uh, we have got who else have we got coming? Eva Lovia, the former porn star. She's coming on to talk about the porn industry. Nice. Uh, we. <laughs> I, wa- I wonder if you ask her more in-depth questions than we ask Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> how much is a porn? <laughs> how much who is pays a porn? How many fans you got on your OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real deep question. Uh, who else? Uh, we, and we've got a number of other people. We have got as well Johan Johan Hari, who wrote um, an, Sapiens. An, yeah, no, Sapiens. that's Johan Naval Har- uh, uh, Johan Hari, he writes a lot of books about mental health. Uh, oh, okay. Really big. Uh, he's talking, coming on to talk about his latest book, which is all about depression. Uh, oh, cool. oh, last question. Any famous people you spoke to thought, they're a bit of a wanker? <laughs> you gonna... uh, Jason Manford. Right. Drop it, Mulch. Yeah. I've actually never met Jason. I'm sure he's lovely. All right, well, this has been another episode. Please, like... And subscribe. If you're on a, you, uh, Apple, leave us a review. If you're on Spotify, leave us a review. We never ask, but do it. It helps. It might help. I don't know. Does it help, Francis? Uh, Yeah, it does. There you go. So do <laughs> yeah, it. Do uh, it. There you go. Anything? Leave a review on what? Apple? Leave a review on Apple. Leave a review on Spotify. I don't think Spotify can review. It's oh, yes. Apple. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> 
People been asking about the masks. Uh, the oh, Dave Chappelle yeah, masks. Have you, have you sent them out? You haven't sent me the fucking addresses. One guy got in touch and I said, send me your address and he just went silent. All right, we're if gonna... you want your stuff, send me your addresses. But, but what what are they sending it to? Your, e just the, your Instagram? It... Oh, we do we do actually have a, a, an email. Oh, we've got an email now. Yeah. What is Has anybody monitored it though? No. Right. But <laughs> but All right, let's wrap it. Let's wrap it. If you, got, if, they, if you want it, if you want these masks uh, or a vaccine, send uh, your address to the Three Speech Instagram. If you don't have that, uh, just just. If you don't have that, go on my website DariusDavies.com and you can contact me via there, and I'll send them out. I've got them all. We're not being stingy, but I can't send them where I don't yeah. know where they're so, going. Hit that it. Is, hit in this it. case, not my fault. Follow three speech on Instagram and then drop us a message. Let's there. see if we can cool. get more followers right. than trigonometry. Yeah, actually, that's a doable <laughs> thing. I think, yeah, we can probably get over 8K, like, yeah. eventually. We've got about yeah. four now, but... <laughs> and we love each and every one of you. All right, thank yeah. you. Anything? Thank you, Francis, for coming thank on. Cheers, man. Thanks for having me, Thanks, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.